Well, you know him from the original Kings of Comedy, Madagascar, and the Steve Harvey Show. And now this entertainer. Well, he's gearing up for the fifth and final season of his hit show, The Soul Man. Cedric the Entertainer, welcome here to CT Style. Thank you for joining us. Ryan, what's going on? How are you? I'm doing pretty darn well. I'm, I'm excited to check out the fifth and final season on TV Land, The Soul Man. And I, I have to ask you, your character, he's an R&B superstar turned uh, pastor. Do you have any singing chops yourself? You know, I, I always, uh, you know, that's kind of how I got the name The Entertainer. When I first started, I used to, I used to sing all the time in my act. I always kind of had some kind of singing bit. And uh, so, you know, that, that's my thing. But, I, you know, I, I, I won't go on the voice or anything. Oh, all right. I was, I, I was going to see if you could break out a little Al Green or something like that, you know? Would you spin, would you spin your chair for me is the question. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> So, so Cedric, <laughs> let's let's talk a little bit about this season because it's interesting. Your character is now running for office, which is uh, pretty timely now with everything going on with the presidential elections. But you're going for mayor. Yeah, man. You know, we thought that'd be fun. Uh, of course, the, the you know the presidential elections got everybody in that kind of state of mind. Mm -hmm. And with this being the fifth season of the of the series, I thought it'd be really cool. Uh, to to do something that played along uh, aside that space, and uh, we always wanted to show this this character growing and transitioning, and so now he's running for mayor, and uh, we're able to have a lot of fun uh, parallel and some of the stuff that goes on in the in the national elections, which is. It's so crazy. We can't even, we, we, we couldn't even have written some of this stuff that they do. I know. It's, it's, it's good for, a, for an upcoming stand up routine, which we'll, we'll talk about shortly. But for, for this show, you're from the St. Louis area. And, and, and I believe, tell me if I'm wrong, that your character's name, Boyce, was actually your mother's maiden name. So, so is it cool for you? Have, have you always wanted to incorporate your own personal twist on one of your own shows? Yeah, you know, definitely. Uh, yeah, you got that right. Uh, you know, we, uh, I wanted the show where my character lived in Vegas and he returns back to St. Louis to take over uh, his father's church. And of course, St. Louis is where I grew up and I, you know, I, I, I represent the Lou. And, uh, you know, and then Boyce is my mom's maiden name. And so uh, we thought that that big, uh, you know, was fun to kind of put those little personal twists in there, uh, to, you know, just to make it come alive. And so um, as one of the co-creators of the show and executive producers of the show, I was able to do, you know, and implement some of these things, man. Now, let's transition into stand-up. Do you, do you have a favorite stand-up comedian of all time? I mean, besides yourself, of course. you got to put yourself out there. You know, oh, man. You know, it's, it's, you know, for me, it's a combination of people. I love, uh, I love stand-ups. Uh, but, of course, uh, I was influenced by Richard Pryor. Mm. Uh, probably the late Robin Harris, Bebe's Kids. He was, one of, he was one of the comedians that, you know, convinced me that I can do it. He was just a regular dude, regular-looking dude. Mm. And he delivered in a way that felt like... Like, uh, like an uncle or a cousin, somebody that you felt familiar with. And uh, I was able to identify with that. And I believe that, you know, he's probably the person I most, you know, uh, kind of mocked and took my style from, which, which is uh, Robin Harris, man. And so, uh, uh, and you know, I, me and my son listened to the uh, Comedy Channel the other day. And I'll tell you, and I, I thought about it, one of my favorite comedians of all time is the late Richard Jenny. He was another funny comedian to me. They certainly have paved the road for you, and uh, you're actually going to be starring yet again, Barbershop 3, talk about laughs. I noticed in the previews, though, your character Eddie, he's looking like he aged a little bit. The, the hair is cropped a little tighter. What's, I, what's going on with Eddie? <laughs> Just a small bit. I tell you, <laughs> you know, it's been, it's been 10 years since the last Barbershop, uh. so when they said they were going to do a third one, I said, as long as Eddie don't die, I'll come back. <laughs> you know, I don't, That's great. <laughs> we have no idea how old Eddie is. he got to be at least 100 or so. <laughs> That's awesome. Cedric the Entertainer, thank you so much for joining us here today on CT Style. Make sure you guys check out The Soul Man. It is the fifth and final season. It premieres Wednesday, March 30th, 10.30 p.m. on TV Land. Cedric, thank you again for joining us on CT Style. Ryan, appreciate it, bro. Absolutely. Funny guy.